Well, uh, continue to be just uh, just very, very impressed uh, with our team. Uh, three consecutive shutouts now. Uh, just an unbelievable job uh, by our pitching staff and Coach C. Uh, Jackson uh, has been very, very consistent, was very good again for us tonight. The bullpen was really, really good. Uh, Ryan Miller and Mitchell Miller uh, both threw the ball very, very well. Uh, only had one walk on the night. And, uh, you know, defensively, uh, quite honestly, I thought we played really, really well. Uh, Grayson Bird, I thought, had his best game of the year. Uh, had a couple really good at-bats for us. Uh, two hits, drove in a run. And uh, Wes Jackson, you know, had his best uh, game of the year. Uh, swung the bat very, very well. Uh, hit two home runs and drove in five. And, uh, you know, six out of our eight runs uh, tonight came with two outs. And, um, you know, five down in the order accounted for seven of the eight runs outside of Seth's uh, home run. So uh, getting production from the back half of the lineup um, is always good. Uh, so, um, you know, I thought we played a very, very complete game, very proud of our team, and um, just got to keep it going. Uh, well, uh, we've pitched uh, we've pitched very well all year, and, and I think what you're seeing is a team that, you know, guys are are starting to get more and more accustomed to their roles, and uh, the expectations on the pitching staff are so high right now, and the competitive uh, level between the pitchers, you know, every guy that comes in there wants to, you know, he knows what the standard is, and he wants to come in there and and. Uh, and try to stay in the ball game because we have so many options out of the pen. So those guys don't want me coming out there. Uh, so they're really, really competing regardless of the score uh, because they know with the strength of our bullpen that, you know, if I get an opportunity to come in the game tonight, I need to throw well. So um, I just think the standard right now for our guys uh, out of the bullpen and with our starters is so high and they're competing against each other and uh, just doing an unbelievable job. And Coach C, you know, you have to give him all the credit um, you know, he's done an unbelievable job of developing our pitchers and raising that standard of excellence, and uh, you're really seeing it right now. Uh, well, I am. You know, I, I am. And, um, you know, we talked uh, today uh, before the game um, just about how important uh, work ethic and hustle is and, and, and how regardless of – how well we're playing right now. We can't lose sight of the fact that we got to show up every day and work extremely hard and play extremely hard, uh, regardless of the opponent and regardless of the the streak that we're on. We're not really talking a lot about the streak, you know, or or, or you know things like that. We're talking about what we're doing well, and we're pitching really well defensively. We're playing really well, and uh, you know, when we can put together a number of really good at bats. Uh, this offense is very good too. You know, we've been a, a little bit up and down offensively, uh, but you know, the constant has been our pitching and our defense, and you know, we keep bringing that to the table every day, and and good things will happen for us. Could you uh, bring up to the top of the lineup and mm. here is number two and then Tinder third? Um, can you just talk about the, the decision to mix up the lineup a little bit? Yeah, you know, we we talked about it this morning as a staff, and um, you know, just really just trying to to put Pender. And Chris Williams, uh, the two guys that, that hit the best in our lineup uh, with runners in scoring position, just trying to put them in a position to be successful. Um, and Jordan Green's a pretty high on base percentage guy. Uh, so, and, and we felt like, you know, with Green and then Beer hitting behind him in the two hole, uh, they, it would force teams to, to throw him some fastballs and pitch to him. Uh, and also with a left handed hitter in there, if Green gets on base, you know, the right side of the field is wide open uh, for Seth, and they can't shift on him uh, if they do that. So uh, I just wanted to try to, you know, just change it up a little bit. And just really I wanted to see what it would look like, to be honest with you. You know, if Green leads off, beer to two, and then put the, the two guys that hit really well with runners in scoring position behind them. Um, so, and, uh, you know, I thought they looked really, really good. And, and we wanted to get Wes and Jackson back in there. I feel like if our offense is going to be good, Weston Jackson has to be good, you know, because he, uh, you know, even though he struggled some early on, we really have uh, high expectations for him based on what we saw and what his career would tell you he is as a hitter. So 
and we want to try to run him out there again. And, and it was, you know, I'm glad I did because he had a big night for us, and, and hopefully he can get some momentum, um, you know, going into tomorrow uh, after tonight's performance. Well, you know, Weston's a fifth-year senior. Uh, you know, Weston had a great career at Presbyterian as an offensive player, and we believe that he was a guy that we could insert right into the lineup and, and give us production. Um, and, we, and we saw a really, really productive hitter in our fall segment of practice and in the preseason. You know, he's just scuffled some, which, which happens to hitters. But, you know, you look at it, the guy has had some monster at-bats for us this year. You know, he's hit some big home runs and had some big at-bats and some big situations. So he's definitely capable, and I'm really, really happy for him. He hasn't been down on himself. You know, he, he hasn't lost his confidence. He shows up every day. Uh, he's very positive. Whether he's in the lineup or he's not, he's always ready. And uh, so I'm very, very happy for him, and I'm happy for Grayson Bird, you know, another guy that we've juggled kind of in and out of the lineup. But, you know, those two guys work so hard and are so positive and are such good teammates that you feel good about giving him those opportunities. So I'm just – I'm really proud of those two guys and their performance tonight because I know how hard they've worked to put themselves in that position. Speaking of Bird, um, he's been playing at third last few games, and not only did he have a good game to play tonight, but he made a nice play in the field. How much does this know you have that, that uh, those options to third base? Well, they're both good defenders. You know, Cromwell and Grayson are both really good defensive players. Uh, so, um, you know, um, we feel good about either one of them, you know, really. So um, I just wanted to try to give Bird another opportunity. I started Cromwell on Sunday. I wanted to give Bird a shot tonight. Uh, we've been working on a few things, and he's trying to make some adjustments. And, um, you know, offensively tonight, he had a nice day, had a really good day, and, and played really good defensively. So very happy with what I saw tonight out of him. Yep.